Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. So I did not want to vlog today. It's 10 p.m. I was not into it today. Owen woke up and immediately took everything out of the cabinets. I was just very, very flustered. He only took an hour long nap when he usually has a two to two and a half hour long nap. So I couldn't even get all of my editing stuff done today that I wanted to get done. I got yesterday's vlog edited. I didn't get to do any work on the podcast like I wanted to, so I lost out on an hour of working time. I was going to start this vlog after I was done editing, <laughs> which was cut short, so. I was like, you know what, we're just not gonna do it. We'll just have a real quick sit down, chatty conversation and call it good. So I figured that I would just take some time and show you a couple things that we've gotten Owen for Christmas. These are some things that we got from Amazon. I'm only showing you two things. This is not a big long list of gifty gifts because with the age that Owen is now, he's not really understanding the conversation of Santa Claus and stuff. We watch a lot of movies with Santa in it, but there hasn't really been a build up to oh, Santa's coming type of type of stuff. So I think we can get away with another year of not bringing up Santa Claus and just wrapping some gifts for Christmas day and calling it a, a time, calling it good. Next year, I think hopefully will he will have the power of more speech and be able to have back and forth conversations and we can actually, we'll talk about Santa and start that whole fol folklore with him. We're still gonna make cookies on the 24th as if we were gonna leave them out for Santa. We Maybe we'll pl put them on the plate. I don't know, we'll see how I'm feeling by the time the 24th rolls around, or maybe the 24th, despite being a holiday, might just be another grumbly day and you just gotta make the most of it. And if on that day, I'm too grumbly to make cookies at night, we're not doing it because he is young enough where it's just, it's not going to impact Christmas next year. Next year he'll be old enough and we'll start the Santa conversation and really leaving stuff out for milk and cookies and doing it'll be more impactful i think anyway uh so this is the wrapping paper that we got for owen and as you guys are all aware of he is obsessed with mickey mouse i found this mickey mouse wrapping paper at walmart and he has already found it in my room but he does love it he drags it around and i'm excited to put his gifts in it so the two gifts that have come in that i've snagged off of amazon there's still more gifts I'm waiting for, there's still some bit, oh, I'm blurry, hold on. I'll still get some bits and bobs from the stores and stuff. I've gotta go to Walmart for dog food tomorrow, so that's when I'll probably pop around and get him new Play-Doh and some smaller um, stocking e-stuffers. This is, it's probably the lighting. Why are, am I blurry more? So firstly, we've got this little buckle pillow thing. These all come undone, and then the idea is to latch them back together, and then underneath that, or more, here's a belt one. This is like a little slide one. And I don't know if you've noticed, but my kid is obsessed with buckles. He loves, he buckles his high chair when he's not sitting in it. He likes to buckle and be unbuckled in his seat when he plays with Play-Doh at the bar. He has a chair in his room that he buckles and then wants you to unbuckle it so he can buckle it again. So this <laughs> is portable. First of all, so I don't need to sit next to him while he's in a seat, while he's buckling. And there's a bunch of different types of buckles on it that he can play with. I think some like the belt is probably a little too far for him. I don't know if he has enough motor skills for this one, but it, there's at least this and this is his favorite kind. So got this off of Amazon. I'll link links to these two things if you're interested in looking into either one of these things. I can't tell you how much they were priced. I don't get any kickbacks for it. This is just what I got. And then we got this bag of different colored screws and bolts. So these two pieces come apart. This one is attached to it and you just take it and you screw it on. The bases are different shapes, this one and this one, but they do not go on to the opposite shapes. They will not go on to each other because one is bigger than the other. So they have to get it on to the matching shape, which I thought was pretty clever. There's a whole bunch of them in there. I have just gone through and put them together. Got this for him because he is very tactile. He likes to do very fine motor skill stuff. He likes screwdrivers. He makes this motion. And I think that if he gets it started, like if someone can put 
the bolt on. I bet he can actually do probably the bigger ones and maybe even the smaller ones. We'll see. He'll be able to screw those on. I think that he'll really enjoy it. I also bought him a little kid set toolbox, which is meant to be in on Friday. And Dave's sister has also sent a gift for him, more mega blocks, which he will be absolutely thrilled about. So I've just got to get wrapping and I'd like to start that. I wanted to start that a few days ago, but hopefully I'll have time to do it tomorrow because I'm gonna get ready <laughs> to go to bed right now because I'm beat, 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 beat. I feel like I've been talking longer than I have, but that's gonna be it for this video. This is, this is today's vlog. This is all I can muster. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Sorry I'm blurry.